Hey, it's Tim, Pickup Truck Plus SUV Talk, and today I have some exciting information for you about the next generation 2022 Toyota Tundra. It turns out there's a secret trim level we didn't know about. <laughs> yeah. uh, this is, I have confirmation, not confirmation in this video. I'll go ahead and show you the photo we have. I'll tell you where it came from. I'll tell you Toyota's response to the photo. I'll tell you what I expect to see in this trim level and kind of talk to you about the customer and pricing, what's going on. Before we get to that, if this is your first time on the channel, welcome. Again, Tim, Western Nebraska, journalist, been journalist for a decade. I've done a lot of big stories, it's framed on the walls. On this channel, you'll find truck reviews, you'll try and truck videos, you'll tr find news items. We do it all, we cover the truck and SUV market. Also see Five Foot Wonder, Jill Simonello, managing editor, and her um, hijinks. <laughs> it's a good time, subscribe, stick around. So let's start with this, this photo that we have and let's show what it is. I'm gonna to cut the chase, I'm gonna put it on the screen right now so you can take a look at it. If you can see along the badging, along the door, this is called capstone. And so it's kind of an interesting look. It's a different trim level. It's, it's Again, that's the 2022 Toyota Tundra. So if we go into the details here in a minute, and I'm gonna go back to this photo, we'll kind of zoom in a little bit, talk about some things. Let's talk about what this is. So we know that this is a 2022 Toyota Tundra. We kind of see in the background, this is probably shot around the factory in Texas, kind of that landscape. I've been to the factory and it kind of what that looks like back there. And so I, this is what I was presented. A uh, viewer of the channel, Diego, sent it to me. And I took this and I went to Toyota and said, hey, what the hell? <laughs> what is this? What is this monstrosity? And uh, Toyota came back and they said, no comment. So what's that mean? So as a journalist, my job is sometimes to infer what no comment means. And I can say it's two things. Number one, Toyota did not go out of the way and call me up and say, please don't run this at all. Please stop doing anything. It's going to be full of copyright, that kind of stuff. So they can't, you know, the, the cat's out of the bag. Um, we do know that this truck exists. They're not denying that this truck doesn't exist. And so we do know this trim level is out there and it exists. And the second thing that kind of tells me was uh, it's not a Photoshop job. This is not a test mule. There's no uh, weird Photoshop stuff going on here. There's no weird camouflage here. So this is real. This truck is real and this trim level is real. It just hasn't been revealed yet. Where'd we get this from? So this video is, you can see it's kind of a screenshot of a video, was posted on Reddit. A gentleman or person or user, whoever, had posted a video of a bunch of different Toyota trucks, different trim levels, and didn't realize the capstone was in that collection of vehicles. And so they kind of deleted their account, they deleted the, the video, they dele uh, deleted their account, they hid their profile, the video went down, and fortunately these people had screen captures of it before it went away. And so we can tell that somebody did this, that we weren't supposed to do this, and now we have a photo of it. Now, unfortunately, all I have is a photo, but I can kind of tell you my viewpoint where it's going to go. If you look at the trim levels of, say, the Platinum, or you say the 1794, um, where you see the TRD Pro, you can tell this is a lot more chrome on this. You have a lot more chrome in the door. So that kind of tells me this will probably be a higher trim level than the Platinum, right? So uh, they're going to go ahead and do that next trim level. It's almost going to be like um, like Ram does. So that, you know, I'll show you on the screen when Ram does their lineups. This is going to be the Limited. Ford's doing this as well with their Limited. Um, you have uh, GMC does this with Denali. People just go in and get the Denali over, you know, a Sierra SLE. And so this is what this is going to be. This is probably going to be the new higher trim level. It's going to be one people are going to have all the bells and whistles for. Uh, why don't we know information about it right now? Well, my theory is, is they're waiting to make another bang. They have a lot more, there seems like there's a lot more Toyota Tundra news. And as I said in other videos, it's kind of overwhelmed what we have so far, but maybe, maybe we got some wow factors coming. And I'm kind of excited for these wow factors. So I'm gonna slow down a little bit and tell you that I think this will be the next high trim level. And I think this will have a hybrid powertrain. Now, why would I say hybrid powertrain? Well, because we don't know all the details in the hybrid yet. And so to me, if this was going to be a gas powertrain option, then they would announce that because they're building the gas trucks right now. But they're not building the hybrid till next spring. So that means they can have more stuff coming out because you can't build and price a hybrid right now. And so for guys like me, who is, I'm buying a truck for next, for this channel for next year, for I want to view, do a bunch of videos on it, tax purchases, that kind of stuff. You know, I can't wait until next May. I just, I can't wait until it comes out. So, but for you guys who are shopping between gas and hybrid, hold on a minute, hold the phone. Cause there could be some new details in the hybrid. We're not quite aware of new trim levels, new features. And this is one of those. And so again, like I told you, this is going to be a higher trim level. You can see it as we do a deep dive in the screen. Let's go ahead and look at this. You can see the new badging along the doors, lots of Chrome. You can see the full Chrome grill, right? So that's a little bit different. You can actually see the hood. 
And to me, that hood says hybrid on that hood. So kind of confirms what I said earlier. Maybe we should have spent more time with the photo. Hmm. Um, but we have more chrome around. And so this is going to be, uh, it's going to be guaranteed a crew cab. Uh, won't probably, will not probably be in double cab. That's not their volume sellers. Um, you probably have a five and a half foot bed like they do the TRD Pro. You're probably going to have a bunch of serious interior. So if you look at the Platinum, you'll take that interior with a bunch more uh, new materials, nice materials, better headliner quality, all those little bells and whistles that other brands are doing these days. And you, you're going to see it go out on this truck. So I could see this truck becoming the new flagship, even though they're doing a TRD Pro because they have the off-road heritage. This is something people could actually look at because and Capstone's an interesting name. Capstone's a construction kind of name. You know, it's... it's the caps and stone. It's, <laughs> I, I get it where it's in the hierarchy of things, but so that's what we have. So we have the, the we're going to know it's going to be a 2022 Toyota Tundra crew cab hybrid, the capstone trim level. Um, so let's talk that the customer for this. So there's always things online where people are like, why are you spending so much money on this truck? Well, this truck here is going to be for that guy who wants to buy one final truck in his life, who wants to, who retired, who wants all the bells and whistles, who grew up in cloth seats, three in a tree, doors they had to slam to shut, and they really want that nice interior, and they want to be able to travel in this. You know, this new coiling suspension rides really nice, and the performance is there with the hybrid, and so you get the good fuel economy, good ride, you don't sit down in sedan, and so they're willing to spend the money. We're seeing across the board, across the industry, customers who own, say, Mercedes-Benz, or BMWs, or Audis, or, you know, whatever Porsches in their garage have a truck next to it. And they're not going to go buy the base level trucks. They want the nicer trucks. They want the nicer features. They have the cash to do it, but they have a new demand for what they expect out of their pickup truck. And so that's what's going to happen with this one. I just, I can see this one being a higher trim. I had said in another video that I thought the TRD Pro with the hybrid and all the features could approach 70 out the door. And now I'm going to slow down a little bit on that. I think this is probably their $70,000 truck. I think maybe the, hybrid, the TRD Pro currently starts at 55 could be probably around 60, maybe 65 out the door with taxes, title, and length and stuff. This would probably be above that. Because if you look at, like I said, that Ram site, when you go from the top trim to trim below it, you have about $5,000 difference. When you go down below it with the Rebel, you have about $5,000 difference. So just kind of doing the trim walk of $5,000 difference between trim levels, which really gives people the question, like, do you really want that fancy interior? It's only $5,000 more. <laughs> There's the hook. <laughs> They're going to hook you. So... Uh, I can see we're going to have more information coming closer to the launch of the hybrid. And again, we said, they said the spring of next year. And so we'll probably have more information on this uh, close to that time period. I, I don't know when we're going to hear more about this, but it's there. This is not like it's not happening. My speculation is going to be on what the interior is going to be and pricing and that kind of stuff. But this is a for real trim. And I just count on me to know it. And if I'm wrong, then you can take me to task for it. But I don't think I am. So, hey. Check these other videos out over here for more Truck and SV news, website down below. As always, thanks for watching. I'll see you down the road.